Hello friends, this video is about a hotel management system. I have developed this hotel management system through Java using Frames. The platform that I have used is NetBeans IDE 10.4. So the database that I have linked is Oracle. So now let me come to the hotel management system. Let's see how it works. So this is the first frame, admin login. It will enter a wrong username or a password. It will straight away give her a message, invite user or password. It checks the database. If the username and password is not matching, it will give an error message. Now let me enter the correct password and username. Now, this is the second frame that will open for the administrator. Now he has five, four options to do. Whatever he want, he can just do it and click on button. So, uh, there are four, five buttons, room booking, check status, update record, rooms and logout. And click on logout, he will get redirected back to the login page. Now, then he have to enter array again the username and the password for proceeding. So, let me, let me go for the room booking. You can just see the rooms, the hotels. So we can click on rooms. So these are the rooms available. Means available doesn't mean that the right now it's available. It's the number of rooms that you have. The room, the room type, the bed type, and the tariff. You can if a person is new, he can just check the room, check the room number and the tariff for allotting it to, to any guest. Now let me proceed. So consider uh, he wants to give a room. Room number 106, but he doesn't know. Or room number 105, he doesn't know if that room is preoccupied or not. So he can just click on the status. So on click on get status, he'll get the status. See room number 102, 3, 4, 5, 6, all are booked for some date or other. So remember, so let me, room number 105 is booked on Rahul from 12 to 14. So if a person want to book the room for 15 to 17 or 18 or the other day, you can just do that. So let me go to the new booking. Let me enter the first name. Number 105. Last name. Room type is double. Address room address three. City floor or city Delhi. Number of minus zero. Eat nothing. Number of days. Three. Country India. Tariff is fifteen hundred. Now I have not used any calendar types. So you can just see the how it how it enter. So now. 15 so this is id type whatever id a person have you can just choose let me go with other it out in about three days so id number let me give you random number Now the total is now 4500. So, if a person has given amount of only 3500, remaining amount is vehicle number none, he doesn't have any vehicle. Now the due amount is 1000 rupees. Let me book. You can see booking successfully, you can check, just check the status. So, Raja 105.15.9. The room only was booked from 12 to 9, 14 to 9, now it's 15 to 18. Amount due is 100, 1000 rupees. So now, go back. So uh, consider the person pays his remaining amount, so the database administrator want to update his status. So he can just go on update record. 
the first name was Raja in the 105 due amount is now 0 and the paid amount is 4500 the record updated you can just again check the status Raja amount 0 this is how it works let's log out this is how a hotel management system works I've made it very simple and easy to understand. It can be very, very useful for the small hotels to manage their guest information. And thanks a lot for watching.